Welcome to World Gestures. You are with the first five things you should do after you have installed Windows 10. The first thing is number one, customize the start menu. Do notice some difficult groups and tiles you should do and enhance the ones you don't even use. For example, let's say you never use the app. Enhance those and make sure you're putting only things on your start menu that you use. The next thing is resize start menu. So you can make it wide or as narrow as you like it. In fact, you can enhance all the tiles. You can even completely represent only just this selection. Next, name and move groups. So be some difficult ones. So if you a tile renaming it very easily and of course with this double line slider, you can move groups around. Next, customize user folders that appear here so you can use all like things, links to download, documents etc. And that should done by going into settings, going into personalization or clicking start. Then selecting which folder you want to start. So I am going to do downloads, pictures, home groups and personal folder. Now I am going to click start. I have really quick access these items as well. Number two is, is customize the taskbar and the action center. So you can do it. This is the first thing I did when I got the Windows 10. Is right click, Cortana, I must show icon Cortana. Next, hide search bar. That way, it's not really big search bar, taking a space on your taskbar. Next, show colors on stock. Personalize colors. So everything I did is, I went to settings, personalization colors and then I select my theme color but you can't know a tiles accept this tiles so I select show color taskbar and action center now it's blue overlay on start with the taskbar and an action center which I like very much and of course transparency and if you don't like that you can make it just solid color The next thing is, choose actions you want. So when you click on the action center, you will see the options here. That brings me to the next one. If you're getting annoyed with the notifications coming in, just click white off and you would got any notifications popping up on your screen. Three is customize Microsoft Edge. So, Edge is Microsoft new browser, very fast with great capability and the first thing I do by hit settings, then show favorite bars and this is the really great way to customize the browser from the get go and even import your favorite from another browser for example Internet Explorer or Chrome that is really way to import directly in. Oh, why do you get a website? Click this favorite, select favorite boss from creating folder and just one click away something from your favorite website. Another thing the people have done including myself at the home button, go to settings, scroll down to view advanced settings, select share the home button. Now you can select a home page URL then you can click on home button and it takes up to you that page. Lastly, you can change the theme but default it's light but you can change it to dark something you prefer. Number 4 is pin important things. So the first thing you might think is pinning an app to next start bar. For example, let's say I want to pin a one note. The first thing I do, click all apps and I choose M from the jump list to go for the MS Office 2016. There is one note, right click it, 
when to stop there is i'm gonna drag it to the daily groups also when people you know i have unpinned earlier next pin apps to taskbar so another option is to pin the taskbar now it appears in down to the taskbar remove it anywhere you like and there it is pin twice on taskbar next thing is documents to the jump list on a taskbar so you so if you right click on the app it will show you the recently opened or used documents i'm going to pin any file to the taskbar this is the way you keep really track really really important ones that use often but also shows you the recent one next is pin a folder to quick access so when you open the explorer now you get a quick access menu what just frequently used folders you pin i mean also recent files so let's say i go to my user folder i want to pin videos right click videos pin to quick access and there it appears Right there, next is user apps. So, if, first of all, I encourage you to try to build an apps, for example, maps, and try something cool stuff with that. Next is get more apps from App Store. So, when you go to the Microsoft Windows Store. You will see the lots of apps, and you can choose it from which interests you. You can click it and download it. There is a lot of group apps stores, so look around for little. But next, try a snapping app. Windows Seven and Windows Eight users may be familiar with that. Drag it to the side of the screen that occupies the section and snap the scissors. Able to choose another app. Well now, which is something new, which is snap to a corner. Go to my corner. Now occupy the fourth of the screen. So I can do that up to fourth app per second, depending on your screen resolution. Photos, etc. If you want to master list. You can click Set Default by Apps. It load all apps you have. Then you can scroll all apps you wanna default and set this as a program default. That's all for this video and subscribe for more Windows 10. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe us and concern for watching. If this collaboration doesn't sound random, do subscribe for our latest upcoming videos. If you're inspired with our collaboration. Do like our videos if not quite sure, then dislike the video in accordance to your perception. If this collaboration gives a quick query or ideas, do comment us below. Goodbye.